Top 5 America's Got Talent Magician Audition, Judges Table. Our number 5 is Jiggy Yu. Your name is Jackie Yu, I remember, and you're from South Korea. Yes. Does this mean a lot to you? Yes. I believe that I can make my own American dream come true through America's I Got Talent. I can. So, you remember last time Simon didn't like you. Yeah, maybe this time I make a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I love his laugh. Thank you so much. Oh, I guess you started. All right, okay. Today, I bring a special act that looks like Howie. <laughs> <In front. laughs> Thank you so much. You're okay. Welcome. Let's just start. Let's just start. I'm going to show you some amazing heart magic with this ball. Is there anything inside? No. Nope. Nothing. Okay. And this is all different color, right? Yeah, thank yes, you so all much. Okay, and just please pick any card you want. Any card is okay. This way, you want to oh. pick it this way? Yes. Like here? Okay, and please sign your name on the face of the card. Face, okay. Okay. And Heidi? Yes. Okay, please attach the sticker okay, at the back of the signed card. You want me to stick them on? Yes. Okay, and let's start. I put the card in the middle of the deck like this and try to find your card. But when you watch card tricks, many of you imagine that the magician can move the chosen card to the top or to the bottom. But today, I'm going to try something different. Okay. If you look under the bowl, there's a card in it, and it is signed the card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'll show you once again. I put the card in the middle of the deck like this and shuffle them like this, but there it is under the board again. It's amazing! <laughs> okay, I'll show you once again. I put the card in the middle and shuffle them like this and shuffle, 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 shuffle them again, but there it is under the board again. It's amazing! Sign the card. Thank you. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm putting the last time. I put the card in the middle. The deck is gone. Okay, there's only one card left, but watch this card. It changes to sign the card. Oh my gosh! Yes. The rest deck, the rest deck is under the board. <laughs> what? Thank you! Thank you. Yes. Number four is Stephen Brundage. Who are you? Uh, my name is Stephen Brundage. What are you doing for us today with those bags? I am going to do Rubik's Cube magic today. Rubik's Cube magic? The act that I do, I'm the only person in the world that actually does it. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> awesome. Can I step down towards you? Why not? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube. We're going to mix it up on all six sides. Now, there's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up, so watch that close. Completely mix it up one-handed in the bag as fully as possible. Back to Saul. <laughs> I think you have a guess on how I do that, right? Some people guess there's a second cube in the bag. I will prove the bag is empty. Look, I'll check. Completely empty. <laughs> Completely empty. Can I look in it? Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Simon, I'm going to do something that's never been done before on TV. Simon, can you actually mix up that Rubik's Cube? Turn it as much as you want. Now, every time you turn it, that's a different one of those 43 quintillion permutations. Simon, whenever you're happy, I will take the cube that you just mixed up and put it back in the bag. Watch that close. Simon's mixed up Rubik's Cube. Well, that's incredible. That would be an amazing trick if there was not a second Rubik's Cube in the bag. <laughs> But that's not the trick. I'm making sure you're still paying attention. Simon, can you actually cover it up on all six sides? Cover it up? Perfect. Like that? Yeah. Now, when you think of a solved Rubik's Cube, what do you actually picture? Solids. Colors, right? What if I told you that I found a different solution to the Rubik's Cube? Watch close. Right about... Right about there. See, the different solution was to match the Rubik's Cube that Simon mixed up 30 seconds ago. You yeah. have. No. So if I did match it, you're going to notice we have one side that's going to be a completely perfect match. Magic is real. <laughs> Better than one side, though. 
That's going to be side number two. That is three. That is four. That is five. That is all six sides are completely perfect. Now. Number three, Matt Franco. Wow. Hi. How you doing? Good. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Uh, what's your name and what are you going to be doing for us today? My name is Matt Franco and I'm going to do some magic. When did you start getting into magic? At what age? I started becoming fascinated with magic when I was four years old. Four? Yeah, I saw a magician on TV and I would record every magic show on the old VHS and I would uh, watch them over and over in slow motion to try to figure out how to do the tricks. That's how I learned. Wow. Wow, so you're self-taught? Yes. Well, I think we're excited to see it. Good luck and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, I wrote a story just for you guys. It's a close-up trick. If you don't mind, I'm going to join you at the table. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on over. <laughs> now, please, keep in mind, what you're about to see is going to be done with a genuinely shuffled deck of cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent. With Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel B, our queen of pop, and of course our favorite, Joker. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound, this whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24-7. Since I was about four years old, see, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the wow. jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. I will never forget the address here, number 6801. Of course, I don't have a zero in a deck of cards, so sometimes I improvise. I never Whoa. thought I'd be here across from the great Howard Stern. Now, Howard, I gotta be honest. I know these cards. This king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. Oh, you oh all, my God. You all look great. You look great just to the nines, but don't get me wrong. I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Oh. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal we all know that but it's you Mel B that I've always had the hots for you see you were part of the Spice Girls the only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary Jacks and five number two is John Durambos my name's John Dornbos I know, I know that name. You a sports guy? I am. You you play for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah. into uh, yeah. Wow. Too big Eagle boo. Going into my 14th year. It's been unbelievable. Year. Oh wow. What are you doing here? You know, as as much as we can achieve, there's always new new beginnings and there's always new things to do. So in the off season, I tour around and do magic and comedy and stuff. Hey, let me ask you a question, John. This goes well. You win. Then what do you do? Well, let's, let's be honest. The NFL stands for not for long. So I've been lucky here. So <laughs> you always got to have a backup plan. It's a pretty good one. You know what I'm saying? Show us your magic. Go ahead. We ready? Yeah. Let's rock this out. Here's the deal. I love this. So here's a, here's a paper clip. You're going to do me a huge favor. Okay. All I want you to do is say stop. Stop. OK, I'm going to cut the cards. Whatever this is, we're not going to look at it. This gets folded up, and it gets placed in this paper clip right here. Mel B, this is going to go in front of you. <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah. I was fascinated by counting foot. cards. <laughs> this isn't 100%, but hopefully you're going to notice a pattern here. We're going to shoot one out, and hopefully it'll look familiar. Ooh, look. See, there's an ace. I tell you what, all I need you to do is pull one out. Do you want me to pull one out? Yeah, you're going to pull a card out. All so right. you're going to reach in there and just pull one out. You got it? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, show everybody what it is. Watch. Watch, this is going to be sick. It's going to be a two. Oh. Oh, was that bad? That's yeah, no, okay. Watch yeah. the eight. It's a shake. Watch the eight. See, it's a shake, and we can get the two out. See what I mean? See what we did there? You know what I'm saying? Woo! Okay. The number one trick by a comedy magician is pulled out of your... So look, there's a three. <laughs> Hopefully we can shoot one out of the center. Oh, look, there's a four right there. So Mel, all I need you to do is, is just yell out, stop. Watch okay. Riffle, go. Stop. 
Stop. Okay, take that card right there. Done. If that's the five, that's sick. Check it out. See if we got it. That's sick. Oh, my sick. God. Wow! That's crazy. So right now, I think the six is 38 cards from the top, so we're going to kind of shoot one out here. Boom, look. Look, there's a six. Simon, do me a favor. If you watch the 10 here, <laughs> we can just cover it. See, there's the seven. Howie, you ready? I am ready. Okay, say stop. Stop. Okay, we need the eight. What do we got? What do we got? Show it right here. We need the eight for the crowd. Show it. Oh! There it is. I put a card in my pocket before we started. See, there's the nine right there. Now watch. We're going to cut these up like this, and hopefully we can find the 10, the jack, the queen, and the king. Oh, my god. There's the 10, the jack, the queen. So, Simon, do me a favor. Think of any cards you want to. Don't name it out loud yet. OK, this is going to be this is gonna be unbelievable. You got it? Yeah. Watch this. We're going to shuffle these up. Simon, name the card you're thinking of right now. Three of clubs. Three of clubs. I did this because I thought I would go through here and not just shuffle all the cards, but take all of them and shuffle all those clubs back in order like that. No. No way. Had you said hearts, I said, what the heck? Why don't we shuffle all the hearts in order? Had you said spades, we would have actually shuffled all the spades in order just like that. How do you do that? Before we started, we folded a card, we put it in a paper clip, we didn't look at it. The card you thought of, the three of clubs, right there for Simon, in the paper clip. Thank you guys very much. I'm John Dornbach. Peace out. How do you do that? And our number one is Smithini. Couldn't be better. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is your name? I am Smoothini. You are Smoothini. The ghetto Houdini. Like Houdini, but ghetto. But ghetto. Yes, sir. I, I, you are a magician then? Yes, sir. A bar magician to be exact. A bar magician? Well, this is a big bar here. So have you been doing magic all your life? Is that what you've been doing as a... Um, I was a Marine. Well, thank you for your service. Welcome. Hurrah. And you're no longer in the Marines? No, sir. Are you doing this full time? Yes, sir. And uh, how was it going for you? It could be a lot better in about five minutes. <laughs> OK. Let's see you do what you do. Am, am I allowed to go closer to you guys? You can, yes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the thing about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to dazzle the world. Right. Now, the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. I can't pronounce that word correctly, but... <laughs> oh! Excuse me. <laughs> just cost the cards. But, honestly, I... Whoa! Wow. Just do not like card tricks, because oh, that's amazing! But, where are you coming from? But I have a beautiful six-year-old son, and um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh, wow! That my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're gonna go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> because, because I am ghetto. Whoa. Wow. Wow. He's good. Oh, he's good. Really That's good. good. Whoa! Pretty cool. Thank you. Not my name, though. <laughs> that is the name. 